President Donald Trump on Friday signed legislation that could kick Chinese companies off of U.S. exchanges unless American regulators can review their financial audits, a move likely to further escalate tensions between the two countries. The measure, which could affect corporate giants like Alibaba Group Holding Limited and Baidu Incorporated, serves as another parting shot at Beijing before Trump leaves office in January. The president has long railed against China for what he calls unfair trading practices and slapped tariffs on billions of dollars in imports. But his rhetoric sharpened this year as he blamed Beijing for the global coronavirus pandemic, a central issue in his electoral loss to Joe Biden as Trump was widely criticized for his handling of the outbreak. The delisting law won bipartisan support in the House early this month after easily clearing the U.S. Senate in May. While it applies to any foreign company, the bill's sponsors have said their goal was to target China. Chinese firms for years have used American capital markets and dollar based finance as a key funding component to grow their businesses. While the measure includes a phase in period, with penalties kicking in after three straight years of non-compliance, it could impose real damage on Chinese companies that fail to meet the audit standards. US policy is letting China flout rules that American companies play by, and it's dangerous, Republican Senator John Kennedy of Louisiana, a lead sponsor of the new law, said in a statement. Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Hua Chunying told reporters in Beijing after passage of the House bill that China was against politicizing securities regulation and urged cooperation to protect investors. Rights.